Well, what's up? Listen, good evening, everybody, and happy, happy, happy New Year's Eve. Welcome to our watch night service. We're going to have a good time tonight. It is going to be hilarious. We got the hassles here. It's got, we got Bishop Designate. You got Pastor Alanda here. Hey. And then you got Little Bit here, too. Hey, she, happy she, New Year. She's she running the point tonight. And we are so yeah. glad that you are joining us so happy. for this night. Listen, this is not what we intended to be doing tonight. This is not how we were supposed to do this. Well, this is not how we thought we were, but this is how we were supposed to because God God has directed our steps and he told us to stay home tonight. And so Gotta I be want safe. You, that's Gotta it. be safe. Safe. That is, you know, err on the side of caution. That's right. Um, we've gotten very, very comfortable in the season. And listen, the, the, I want you to live and not die. I want you to prosper and be in good health, even as your soul prospers. This is God's will for your life. Who made these shirts, hon? Jesus wept. I don't know. I ordered them online. Well, it's pretty cool. Aren't they nice? Look at Black Jesus. Black Jesus. Black Anyhow, Jesus. I mean, you know, I don't know if he's black or white, but I like the shirt. All he right? was Jesus. His <laughs> he blood was, Jesus. was red. That's it. That's what. That's what Kirk Franklin said. Um, but we know his blood was red. It is so good to see you all tonight. Yes. And um, we're going to put the chat up there, too, so we can see who's in here and say hey, good evening to Latoya. She's here. And hey. Linda and Marcella. They said We're hi, glad Kyra. you feel better, Toya. Uh-huh. We feel better. Listen, yeah. that was a rough little one. Woo. That little stomach virus, I'm telling you. We're glad it wasn't COVID. Oh, we got tested. Here. That's Thelma, Robin. The crew's coming in. The crew is coming in. Please Marcella. say something. If you don't say something, we can't see if you're there. La we Toya. want to know you're here. Share the broadcast. We're going to have a good time tonight. Yes. And um, we're just Michelle so is. glad you joined us. We're going to start with this little, uh, a little uh, video, right? Yes. A little video. And, yes. Um, and, yes. and then we're going to come back and we got a wonderful, wonderful, wonderful program but there's yes. no rush we just want to say what's up to everybody listen we didn't have a potluck this year we didn't we didn't have everybody bringing in macaroni and cheese and potato salad and and um We're not corn, ready. Corn, corn spread and, and cups and chips and cups <laughs> and chips and i want to thank all the people in the church who decided to bring water some years because they knew they couldn't cook is yes. that kind of background yes so it yes, is kind of peek, peek in the, peek in the camera that? Peek in. all right y'all i haven't gotten my Stop hair braided it. but <laughs> hey. uh, all right so she looked the at the baby girl screen. is home yeah. <laughs> mm -hmm. it's good to have I'm the happy. family She's home. home and um she said New York was nasty because we got this. Listen, the testing is at 25 <laughs> percent in Yonkers. That means one out of four people who tested were testing positive for COVID. Stop playing with this thing. Stop. Stop playing. Listen. You know what's bad, too? I went and got tested just to make sure rule out, especially because Kyle was coming home. So we went and got tested and there were families one kid was positive, one wasn't. So you guys have to be careful. Please. Yeah, this is, Everybody get tested. That's it. We were talking about 3% testing as a right. threshold back in the spring. And listen, this is we way beyond that. But we thank God for safety and, yes. and for his grace on our lives. It's so good to be alive. And we're talking about the year fullness. Uh, yeah. Full, a year of fullness. What a mighty word the Holy Shoot. Ghost has given so us to, to unpack for for the year 2022, the year fullness. And let me tell you something. Everybody's kind of steering away from, from you know, making any claims for the next year and stuff like that. But this is watch night. And we are, it's a night of watching prophetically. And I believe that fullness is God's plan yes. for us next year. But fullness is not an empty promise. It's not just some, some word we grabbed out of the atmosphere. The Holy Ghost is telling us that fullness is his promise for us and I can't wait to unpack this with you all this year Amen. and so let's start with this little video here um, let's see what it does Roll the tape. good evening kingdom and welcome to our virtual New Year's Eve service for 2021 what a year it has been my name is co-pastor Alanda Hasso and on behalf of myself and of course Bishop Designate Dr. James and Hassel, we welcome you to our virtual worship service. So grateful that you were able to join us. Let me just say that 2020 and 2021 
uh, have proven to be extremely challenging um, globally. The constant readjusting has been quite uncomfortable, if I may say. The changes, however, have resulted in a personal and corporate cleansing, ridding ourselves of bad habits, exposing the kingdom of darkness, and reintroducing lifestyles of simplicity, lifestyles of peace that are filled with faith, hope, and of course, the greatest of them, love. As we stand at the precipice of a new year, let us ponder on our theme, the year of fullness. This scripture can be found in Ephesians chapter 3, verses 14 through 21. Wherefore, I desire that ye faint not at my tribulations for you, which is your glory. For this cause, I bow my knees unto the Father of our Lord Jesus Christ, of whom the whole family in heaven and earth is named, that he would grant you according to the riches of his glory to be strengthened with might by his spirit in the inner man, that Christ may dwell in your hearts by faith, that ye, being rooted and grounded in love, may be able to comprehend with all saints what is the breadth and length and depth and height, and to know the love of Christ, which passeth knowledge, that ye might be filled with all the fullness of God. Now unto him that is able to do exceeding abundantly, above all that we ask or think, according to the power that worketh in us. Unto him be glory in the church by Christ Jesus throughout all ages, world without end. Amen. I don't know about you, but I want to be filled with all the fullness of God. And so I declare over you for 2022, a year of fullness. May love and joy be plentiful. May your riches be bountiful. May your body be youthful and full of health. May your relationships be meaningful. Your family and friends, may they be delightful. May your ministry be impactful. And most of all, in your relationship with God, may you be restful and desire a better relationship with Him and full of joy. Happy New Year. We love you. Happy New Year, Kingdom. I am so grateful to be a part of KCCC. As we say goodbye to 2021 and welcome 2022, the year of fullness, I pray that you have a prayerful, peaceful and purposeful year. May it be meaningful and fruitful. And always remember that we serve a God that is wonderful, thoughtful and powerful. I am so thankful and blessed that um, to know that despite what's going on with COVID, you know, we wasn't able to meet the way that we had planned and it wanted to. However, God has given us a way of escape and that is through technology, which has given us the opportunity to gather with even more than we expected before and come into this new year together with a spirit of oneness underneath the side of the Lord to celebrate this new year. With also that being said, I'm glad to share that the theme for this next year is the year of fullness. And when I hear fullness, I hear deliverance and not just being healed, but whole. So let's do it together knowing that we serve a God who is masterful and plentiful. Amen. Man, that was so powerful. I'm I'm so excited about tonight. I really am. This is about the year fullness. Can I have about 50 of you type fullness? You can put two L's or one L. I found out the dictionary allows you to use either one. So I, w- I would use two because I want one. mine to be extra full. All right, all right, extra full, <laughs> extra full. I want mine to be unique, so I'm going to put one. Oh, just one, right. So I was trying to make a flyer, and I was like, fullness, one L, two L's. But this is our expectation. There are so... the Scripture is replete with examples of how God wants our lives to be yes. full, to fill us with all fullness is actually what he says. And we're just so excited that, mm-hmm. thank you so much. We're so excited Look that God y'all. is speaking these y'all. kind of words to us that 
fullness is what 2022 represents not emptiness and man we That's got right. a word we got a word we got a word tonight but we don't want to get ahead of ourselves good evening everybody and this is the last day of 2021 let me tell you something got to be honest this this sucks <laughs> that we're not with you i'm i'm being really honest it's this is not how i wanted to spend this i thought we were done but omicron had another omarion oh, whatever you want to call him Poor had a he he had another he had another plan <laughs> and listen i'm grateful that it is not leaf as lethal as the other yes. the other and people are living through this we want to pray for every family that yes. has been yes. smitten by this 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 virus and pray your strength because we're going to make it through this. My God, we're going to make it through this with the Lord's help being wise. Wisdom is justified of her children. And man, this is so important for you to realize that being wise as serpents and mm -hmm. harmless, as, as, yes, harmless yes. as doves is key. This is why we wear masks because we're harmless as doves, but we're wise as serpents. We yes. got to be aggressive. You got to be, be use aggressive. Wisdom. That's it. And use wisdom. So this is our our. 2022 watch night service. Many people didn't want us to call it watch night anymore. The critics of the critical race theory don't want us referring to the fact that black people were looking forward to the January 1st emancipation where the law came into place where they were free. And then the state of Texas came around and, and told the slaves they were free on June 19th. So Juneteenth is one celebration, but watch night is another one. They celebrate this even in Liberia. And, and Ghana and, and many of the West African nations that our people moved to when they were free. Freedom. This is so important for us to say on this night, we are watching for the promise of liberty and deliverance in our lives and even for 2022, we are believing that God is able to make us to prosper and flourish and experience fullness, even when the world is in flux. Right. My God. We're he's... free to declare the word of God over our lives. And <laughs> I think too often we get stuck in what happened, what was, what didn't happen, all of those things. But this year we are declaring the word of God over our lives, that we will have a life of fullness, not just in a theme and saying it because we're saying it, mm -hmm. but to really declare the word of God over our lives. That's it. Fullness, yeah. fullness, fullness, fullness. Find all the full. scripture that talks about full. how it. our lives can be full. Fullness and fullness in the spirit, fullness of joy. I'm telling you, this, right. this we about to rock this this year. <laughs> and so what we're going to do right now is that we got um, some of our pastors and ministers on that are going to make some declarations. Let me tell you something. Declarations are important in yes. your life. When they're aligned with the word of God, they, I said this in, in the green when we were all in the green room waiting to start tonight, mm -hmm. that my prayer is that these declarations would become the atmosphere, would become the climate for your life in 2022. Yes. Listen to what I'm saying, that the words we are speaking into and over your lives right now are going into your future ahead of you and setting up a mm. climate that when you arrive Ooh. in your future, the, pre the precipitation of these these words, promises, and declarations and It'll blessings rain will rain my down God. in the former and the latter rain. My God, that the, the harvest, let me tell you something, the, the reapers are going to overtake the sowers. I believe the sowers are going to take overtake the reapers, whatever order you want to say mm. it. I'm telling you, there is going to be such a deluge in your life that the, because of the declarations, and as we're speaking them, you yes. need to write your own That's Right. word-based declarations over your life That's and right. believe that what we are saying is the truth for your future. Post them, put them on your phone, hang them up at your, in your house, on the mirrors, whatever. And as our pastors and ministers come, take, take from that, receive what the men and women of God are saying over your life so that you can also apply those to your life. And let me tell you something. She said, Michelle said, I love my church. Your church loves you. We love all of yes. you. We wanted to be in your presence and hug love you and you, love on you. you. And we can't wait to do that again. And it's going to be sooner than you think. Of course, we're not going to have service this Sunday in person either. Just to give everybody a chance to quarantine. Be Get responsible with yourself. Get it out. Be a loving person and love everyone around you by staying away from them for a couple days. Mm -hmm. And then the second Sunday, we'll be back together. 
together. But in the meantime, we're gonna have Sheldon Orlando Gomes. Minister. He's gonna come on the screen right now. Come on in. Come on through. Come on through, Gomes. Blue and family. What's, what's hey. good? We are doing wonderful over here. Thank God. Doing, we are I gotta say this before you do your declaration. Oh, here you go. I, you know, I'll, I'll save it for later. Just give the profile so everybody knows what I'm about to say. And then I'll come back and talk about the mm, artwork. Damn. The, woo! The good, artwork. Good Jesus. That's all I'm going to say about that right now. Good Jesus. But I want you to stay in the spirit. I, yes, the Lord yes. has been using you. And yes. I want him to use you tonight to declare this over this over the lives of the people. So we're going to give you the screen Minister and we'll come back in a minute. Minister Sheldon Orlando Gomes. Make your de declarations for 2022. Amen, amen. Family, friends, those who've been with us for a while, those who are new, we welcome you in the name of our Lord and Savior, Jesus Christ, Kingdom, you know, KCCC. Uh, we are just honored and blessed that we have this platform to use. And the year of fullness, I'm looking forward to fullness in so many ways, uh, physically, mentally, spiritually. Uh, I'm looking to be full in the year 2022. Uh, declarations, as our pastors have already said, uh, something that are very, very important. And my declaration is going to come from Luke 6, 38, which says, I give and I receive a good measure, pressed down, shaken together, and running over. And if I can be honest with you, I've read this many times, and I never took the time to look at the beginning part, which says, I give and then I receive good measure. So my declaration for myself and everybody who's listening tonight is that you are going to give and receive good measure in the year 2022. This is going to be your year of great measure. I believe that if you are, have been looking to be in a position where you're like, God, I am here. My breakthrough hasn't come yet. The things I'm praying for seem to be on hold. I ask you right now to check yourself and ask yourself if you've been in a place where you've given the same way you're expecting to receive. That good measure, shaken, running over, we all want that. But we have to put ourselves in a place where we are giving with the same energy we are hoping to receive. So 2022 is going to be a year of good measure, not because of you just being a good person or this is what you believe is going to happen, but you're going to put yourselves in such a position to be helpful, to be useful, to participate, to not sit behind the curtain, but to show up and say, Lord, I am here for you to use me. God wants to use each and every single one of you. And I can tell you from experience that when you put yourself in a position to give, the Lord will bless you. So my family, my friends, my loved ones, I am here to encourage you and let you know that this is the year of good measure. Put yourselves in a position where you're going to give so that you can receive. I love you. I hope you have a great new year and celebrate, celebrate the year of fullness that is about to happen for you. God bless you. Happy new year. Yeah, yes. Yeah, yes. Great measure. Year Good great measure. measure. My God. I love think, it. My God. It's, it's, it's Sheldon, put Sheldon back on the screen. Sheldon. Sheldon. Was 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 you talking like like a full bag of potato chip with no air in it? <laughs> Great no, 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 no. We gonna have yeah, overflowing. Yeah, yeah like no no air in the bag. Okay. I'm talking about when I open my chips. Hey, right my there. chips is to the top. Yeah, the Good night. Press that's down. Why, that's why I eat Pringles because they always fill it to the top. Ooh, oh, this is right. my Pringle year. This is my Pringle. Pringle. Yo, this is my <laughs> Pringle year. Fullness <laughs> is what I'm talking about. Oh my God! Wait, wait. I gotta think of something else. Wait, what? What else? They be trying to skimp on. They be trying to skimp on. I'm trying to think. French what? fries at McDonald's. French fries at McDonald's. You mean they not gonna put a small fry measure in my medium fry box? <laughs> I don't know. If you, I don't know if you eat those little mini muffins. But yo, they put four. Why no, come on. 
And they be $20. They be $20, <laughs> $20. for four mini muffins. They put like five more in that bag. Yo, straight yeah, up. Straight could. up. 2022 is going to be the year of 20 mini muffins but in my oh, mini little muffin bites. And little bites in my little bite bag. First of all, grow up. <laughs> <laughs> but you said we have to show up. That's you said it. we have to show up. And we got to give at the level of our give, And we have to want to be used. Don't Those just show up and sit in the pew. Those of us who uh, have been at Kingdom, uh, one of the messages that really blessed me that I still hold to my heart is the servants see the miracle. When you broke down mm -hmm. how Jesus was turning the water to wine, and that they didn't know what was happening, but those who were serving got to participate and see the miracle happen. So be in a position to help, you'll see miracles. Pastor Brian, Pastor Brian said from the green room, he says, this is the year of them not skimping on the oxtail gravy. My Lord in heaven, put That's it on it. my rice. No skimping on the no skimping on the cheese, yes. garlic biscuits at Red oh, Lobster. Yes. yes, I'm gonna order some right now so I can take some home. Oh my God, <laughs> year of great measure. Love it. Listen, I'm believing that my raise will not be skimpy. That Amen. my increase will not be skimpy. That's that cool. my faith will not be skimpy. My God. That yes, that yes. my response of obedience will not be skimpy. It will not be airful. That there will be substance in yes. my life in 2022. And I declare right now that our faith is full. That yes. we trust in and believe in God at new levels for Amen. things Amen. that we never thought we could, could have. Because this is this is the year of Wait, I got measure. one more. I got one more where they skimp on Let the crab see. legs at, at what's that spot in White Plains? On Scars Day. On Scars Scars Day. Y'all be crab. leaving there hungry. Captain Yo, I, crab. At Captain crab. crab, the Lord is gonna bless me this year, then I'm gonna leave there full. Fullness, great measure. No skimping on my red velvet Stop and tiramisu playing, cake. Marcella. No skimping. Stop. I want it on everything. Brian said he wants the gravy on everything. I want it on my on my cabbage. I want it. I want it on the fork. I want it on a napkin. Put the gravy on my napkin. Make it drip out the bag. Run my napkin. I want fullness in 2022. I want I want grease on my napkin. Uh, My God, I, love it. I appreciate it. I appreciate it. Strong Sheldon. words. Strong, 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 words. strong. Good measure. Good Thank measure. You for Press that down. Shaking together. Yes. Running over. Shall men give into your bosom? And let yes. me say this. I am so blessed by that. Pastor, who's next? Pastor Lonnie is coming on. Lonnie. And um, we got time. Ain't no rush tonight. We'll come back after all of this. So we're just going to chop it up a little bit. But um, Pastor Lonnie is going to make some declarations. Again, I want you to receive these declarations as a climate going before you these words will set the climate make these de make these declarations over your life embellish them according to the word of god that's right find a scripture to attach your faith to and send it ahead of you as a climate as a season my god i love that, like a I love that. <laughs> like send a season ahead of you that when you get there the the weather pattern is predictable because i spoke mm. it and when I speak it, the precipitation that comes will not surprise me. And That's it right. will water the crops that I plant in the precinct. My God, are you hearing what I'm saying? Mm -hmm. These declarations have power, and I want you to believe it in Jesus' name. Yes. Amen. Pastor Lonnie's coming now, and, and come on in, Lonnie. Hey. Oh, hey. she got the stingy Happy New Year to you. Happy New Year. Put your hat on, man. you cute. Come on, <laughs> this is the year of fullness where my coffee is running over because All I have right. less ice and more coffee. Come on, less come ice, on. More coffee. Good measure. Come on. Good That's measure. what I'm talking about. <laughs> yeah. That's I, I don't even think that hat is gonna be appropriate by yeah. May. You you're gonna need a, a 10 gallon I hat with the swear. wide brim, not the stingy brim. No stingy brims in May. No, no, no stingy <laughs> brim. Big wide. Listen, I'm coming through like I got on platinum fish shoes. Oh, come on. Oh, you got to walk oh, You got to walk sideways on. sideways when you do that. <laughs> 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 what is wrong with y'all? <laughs> Yo, 
Yo, you can hear, you can hear, the, you can hear, the, you can hear the good talk. Those things out of behind, we have joy in this season. We have joy, amen. Yo, definitely, definitely. Come in, you gotta come through strong, like McDonald's strong. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Come on, 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 come
she, you gotta be kidding me. Yo, she put me on total blast right now. We was at the airport. It was like boom, boom, boom. I was like, ooh. <laughs> Yo, yeah. nothing to take your piece no, quicker listen. than having lack in the tank. Yeah, you got no when you're far tank. from home. <laughs> no may God in rebuke Woo! lack in your life that you may be able yes. to move forward with confidence. Yes. May poverty be yes. rebuked in your life. Jesus may scarcity no right. longer be in your Jesus mindset. Name. May your faith expand so that you might be able to speak from a prosperous place even right. when your account yes. does not reflect what your words said your yet. home mm. gonna be Come full on. your account's gonna be full right. everything's gonna be full right. yes oh, who owns a cattle on a thousand hills <laughs> Yo, gas is expensive, but I'm telling you right now, it's more expensive yeah. to have lack in your life. Yes. It sure is. Yes. My God, this is so good. Mm. Lonnie, that's I, good. I saw somebody say, um, can you take me somewhere? I got gas money. It was like, oh, you got gas money. Started laughing. All you need is a car. <laughs> Who cares? You got gas money. <laughs> you need a car. But yeah. we, we're, we're not lacking anything. No. And we will live a life that allows us to operate and to flow in the fullness that comes from God. Pastor Ruby says she needs yeah. full godly gas. I want to know what godly where, gas. That must be like that 93. From? That's 93 <laughs> octane. What? <laughs> that's that's, that's $100 a gallon. That's no lack in 22. <laughs> Listen, we can believe God for it and declare it over our lives and no prepare lack. ourselves. Let me tell you something. I think Kyra posted this the other day about a man who sleeps through sowing will lack in harvest. Listen, don't sleep Word through the time of plow. sowing. If you don't Sweet. plow during the sowing season, lazy. you will in being lazy in the in the plowing Preach season, God. you it's will like lack God. in the harvest. Listen, yeah. I'm telling you, don't <laughs> just take these prophetic words as just something that is set. I told you yes. it is a climate and an right. atmosphere, a season right. that you're we sending ahead of you. But you must prepare things. for your That's harvest. Really there is the prophetic word and then there is prophetic Prophetic, prophetic strategy. Mm -hmm. You must tonight declare yes. that I am implementing prophetic prophetic strategies in my mm -hmm. life, tactics that come with it. What am I going to do in January? Mm -hmm. What am I doing now? I'm telling you, I have been preparing for 2022 since August. I knew what I was launching this year and I'm ready. And when it comes, people are going to think it came out of nowhere. No, it came yeah. out of August. It came out of yeah. August 2021. Yeah. Yeah. May you get the energy to implement the prophetic strategy that goes along yeah. with the prophetic, prophetic declarations. Yes. Listen, yes. we're giving them. Let the Lord tonight get a pen and a pad in your hand as you're hearing these declarations. Write down, write down, down. what the Lord is telling you to do in response yeah. to it. You know, we kind of dismiss vision boards and we think it's just a fun time to cut out images and stuff. It's prophetic. But it is prophetic. You are literally putting before you that you see every single day the strategies that go along with the word to make that word come to pass in your life. And so don't look at, you know, planning boards and fun times and vision boards as just something, you know, girls get together and do or guys get to No, that you are literally putting in motion. You are you are reminding yourself every day of what that what the Lord said to you in the word. And Pastor Lonnie reminded us that we have no lack our resources, all of those things, no lack. I am, I am setting things in motion now so that when I get to the end of 2022, yeah, I can I'm look back and say, I did God that. did this, God did mm -hmm. that, God, I'm, I'm checking stuff I off. I did that. Yeah, I said, I, I did that. Yes. Did that. Yo, this is good stuff. Thank you, Lonnie. Don't go nowhere. We're God bless you. God bless you. Don't, Love y'all. All right, don't go nowhere. Listen, this is good stuff tonight. Yeah, this yes. is how you're supposed to bring in your new year. Listen, I know that I know this is not listen, I'd rather be in church with the with the with the boom and the slap and the and and the and the, the, the joy. And listen, the Lord is gonna give that to us. But he has told us to sit down tonight and enjoy each other <laughs> and be at home and be safe so that you can enjoy the year that's coming. Yes. And I wanna thank God for you tuning in hit that share button get some folk in there i know many it's going they're going to pack in there around around midnight 
But this, is, I'm telling you, is so important for us to get these prophetic yes, declarations yes, in our yes, lives yes, and get yes. them in our belly. Get them, get them in your in your, your soul, in your heart. Spirit, get yes. in my belly. That's that's the the spirit of a man. <laughs> I'm about to bring to the screen somebody who cooked two steaks tonight and didn't what? invite me over his house. He he talking about his talking about his little his little cast iron. His watch this. He talking about his little cast iron pot. And his, and his, don't his, be, don't be wait, 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 wait. No, I gotta say, and he talked about his little his his little oven and, and his little his little butter basting these ribeyes. I I don't even want to put his face on the screen. I got hate you, bro. <laughs> <laughs> Listen, don't Dang don't it. don't pump my cast iron. My cast iron. That's right. Good. I ruined mine. I put it in the dishwasher. She dishwashed oh, God, it. She washed all the seasoning off it. It came out rusty. How does she That's fix true. that, Brian? How does she fix How could you fix it? Um so when it when she finishes uh, pour oil inside of it uh and put it on high heat, either put it on high heat or put it in the oven after you rub it with a paper towel, rub the oil in it. And then keep using it and rub it, use it, rub it with oil. With the rust? No, no rust, no uh steel wool. And no uh, abrasive chemicals, please. So I'm not gonna do that. Okay. All right. so, so you know, we just trying. So some of this generation don't know nothing about seasoning know nothing about pots. It. They know seasoning. about seasoning. They may not even know about seasoning the food. But I know how to true. fix it. I'm just gonna get her some new ones. Well, moving <laughs> out the house, I can use the dishwasher now. Cause y'all used to make me just wash the dishes. Well, we were the dishwasher growing up. No, so the crickets, the crickets followed. It was like, no. Nah. So I, I personally know. enjoy washing dishes. I think the dishwasher is a waste of water, but that's we're not talking about that tonight. So anyhow, this is what we're talking about with Brian. I'm just mad because he sent me two pictures of these of these marbled ribeyes, or what were they? New York strip? They're strips, yeah. Yeah, you suck. Yeah. <laughs> I'm gonna send you the picture of the finished product. Don't worry, it's coming. I still love you, and you're still anointed, but th Amen. that's wrongdoing, and the Lord Listen, does forgive. I'm, 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 as, as soon as COVID goes, goes, you know where it's supposed to go. Y'all can come over and eat steak, no problem. Jesus, Jesus is full of grace and truth. He is. He really is, and so, Absolutely. so I, I was praying for grace because that was sinful for you to send those two pictures. <laughs> And so, uh, Lord, forgive him for that as he speaks these declarations over our lives tonight. We speak peace <laughs> over him and his family because we love him in yes, Jesus' name. Yes, we love them. Make, yo, man. take your time. Speak speak over our lives, man of God. We love you so much. Man, I love you guys. Hey, family, it's good to be here. Uh, of course, I would love to be in the sanctuary with you guys to hug you and to love you and to you know propel you forward uh, into 2022. The last two years have been woe for us. But uh, thank God we're still here. Uh, we're still able to receive the word of the Lord and we're still able to walk in his power and in his grace. So I have seven declarations I'd like to share with you tonight. Um, and I hope that you'll receive them uh, in Jesus name. The first declaration is this. I'm, I declare in Jesus name that God's glory will reign in our region, uh, not just uh, uh, in the city of Yonkers, but in the region wherever you are. I decree and declare God's glory will reign in you because you dwell there. He reigns in our lives. I decree he reigns in our families, our churches, and our communities, according to uh, Psalm 22 and 28. Uh, I declare that over your life in Jesus' name. My second declaration is this. I decree and I declare that the plan of the enemy for your region and for my region, the region where we live, uh, is destroyed and overthrown in Jesus' name. Let me remind you, the enemy is a defeated foe. And listen, if you give him, uh, if, if you let him ride, uh, he'll want to drive. Don't let him ride. Throw his plans over and allow God to work on it. Uh, Deuteronomy 7 and 23 in Jesus' name. Let me say this. Uh, I declare that we are blessed in our regions because Jesus Christ is our Lord. He is the Lord over our lives. He's the Lord over our families, over our communities, over our churches. He is the Lord over us. We are going to continue to serve by his power, serve him with joy and with gladness. We're going to develop and maintain a kingdom culture. According to Psalm 33 and 12, I declare this over you and me and all of us in Jesus' name. Uh, number four, I declare stability salvation, wisdom, and knowledge as we navigate our way through justice and righteousness. <clears throat> Excuse me. We will be sensitive to the heart of God for our community, 
uh, for will be compassionate, will be empathetic, and we will be wise, uh, according to Isaiah 33 and 6 in Jesus' name. Number five, uh, I declare that we, me, you, all of us, we will be a hub of prayer, revival, and refreshing. That's so needed. Listen, the world is hurting and it, uh, the world needs to hear from us. Let's be a, a hub, a place where people can receive prayer, a place where people can receive revival and receive refreshing in Jesus' name. Mark 11 and 24. Listen, jot it down. Uh, take it home. Read it. Number six, I need you to say this. Map it. Say that. Map it. M-A-P-I-T. Map it. Okay. This is how we're going to walk. We're going to walk in might. We're going to walk in authority. We're going to walk in power. We're going to walk in influence and we're going to walk in tenacity. That's my declaration for you. We're going to walk in might and in authority, in power, in influence and in tenacity. Map it. That's that's my plan going forward. I'm mapping it. I'm walking in God's might, walking in his authority, walking in his power, walking in the influence that he's given me. And I'm walking in tenacity. I declare it and I decree it over your life in Jesus name. First Peter chapter two, verse nine. You need to read it. You need to receive it and apply it to your life. And finally, number seven, I decree and I declare divine favor be upon each and every one of you in your business ventures, in your projects, uh, in every assignment that you put your hand to. I decree and I declare by the power of the Lord that you are going to walk in the fullness of God's favor, the fullness of his grace, in the fullness of his grace and the power of his name. He'll lift us up. Hallelujah. I decree it and I declare it right now. Divine favor over your life, on over your projects, over your uh, business ventures over everything that you put your hand to do. I declare and decree favor be upon you. Isaiah 55 and one. God bless you. Kingdom, I love you so much. Happy new year to each and every one of you from the Allen house to your house. God bless you. <laughs> Map it. What? Come Map on. it. Map, Map it. it. I Yo, love it. So you are declaring that we will walk in might Authority, Authority. Power. power, power, influence, influence, and tenacity. And tenacity. Hey, oh. and not just for us. You kept saying for our region. That's it. For yeah. our for our our family, for That's ourselves. That's so. Th this is a not the year of fullness is a year of maturity. I, absolutely. I mean, it, it's not it's not selfish and it's not merely personal. You know, but it's yeah. for all of us as we walk yes. in that map it plan. We get to snap the back of the enemy. Snap you know, it. Map snap it so you can snap it. Map it and snap it. You gotta come on. <laughs> map it so you can snap it. Lonnie map lost it, it on that that's one. How that's gonna work. <laughs> hey. <laughs> Baba, baba. Baba, who's Woo! Baba. Listen, we having fun, but I felt that. Yes, yeah, no, man, for real. We're stuff. gonna listen. The declaration is that we're gonna walk in my authority, power, influence, and tenacity, and that when we do this, we're gonna snap the back, snap of, the the back enemy. of the enemy. That's my it. God, he will be crippled and immobilized, That's incapable it. of returning an attack. Yes. And my God, I in Jesus am name. excited. Good. I'm excited. Hallelujah. I'm excited. You said so there is stability, there is salvation, there is wisdom, and there is knowledge. That's People right. Full. That's it. Of those full of things. it. Things. Full of it. Shoo. 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 Said, Map it so you could slap it. Oh, <laughs> listen, we about to get, we, yo, this is y'all so you this can snatch it. Snatch it. Map it because you can snatch it. Ooh, I love them. Snatch them edges. Oh, my God. <laughs> Listen, this is good. This is so this bad. is wonderful tonight. That we would be a hub mm. of prayer, revival, and refreshment. Love it. Yes. A hub. Amen. Why don't people come to church? Because what do they get when they get there? Mm. Right. That's a good question. They fullness. get fullness. Listen, yeah. I need it. I need fullness. Yes. And if the church is going to be full... See, it's it's not full till it's overflowing. Yeah, that's right. And to be a that's hub true. of prayer, revival, and refreshment, this is a wonderful thing. My God, this is so and, good. And corporately, we make it full. 
Because mm-hmm. we need you as much as you say you need that's right. us. That's right. So corporately, we make that. You know what, call. Sheldon? That was that's snap good. it, twist it, bop it. <laughs> you know what? <laughs> Stop. Is nuts. Yes. I love my brother. This is <laughs> only kingdom. Yo. Only gold. No, only gomes would think of something like that. I can't. Bop no, it. I heard it. I heard it. Bop it. Flip it. Bop it. Yo, that that game was twisted. I'm gonna bop Sheldon when I see him next time. Just <laughs> right outside his head. Bop it. <laughs> He needs a hit in that, that head. <laughs> that unfinished head. It's art. I don't know. Mastermind might take my hand off. I'm cool with it. It's art. Yeah. <laughs> and his expression of art. Listen, I, th- I we're going to... Listen, Brian, that was powerful. Yes, I can't you. wait to come back. We're going to talk. Don't go anywhere. We're actually going to go into the sanctuary real quick. Okay. Yes. And we're going we're gonna to have a couple minutes of praise and worship. And, um, and then we're going to come back and unpack this. Then there's a, a short word from the Lord. And then we'll be right at that time let's let's join our worship and praise team in sanctuary now for some wonderful worship turn it up
declaration of of devotion to God even in 2022 Lord that 
Your praises shall continue to be in my mouth, continually be in my mouth. That means that every day I will make it my business to be speaking well of God and to give him a benediction so that he may give me a benediction. Yes. I will speak, speak well of my Lord. Can I tell you the greatest praise you could ever give is to big up Jesus to someone else and sharing your faith. Mm -hmm. That's bigger praise than you running around the church and doing doing the tiptoe dance. I think it's beautiful. We love the tiptoe dance. I, I saw the lady describe it as that. I started cracking up. But listen, that's wonderful. And to be ecstatic in his presence. But your greatest praise is sharing your faith with someone. Can you start by sharing this broadcast with someone right now? Tell them you need to be in virtual church tonight so that you can get the prayer and blessing. Get in worship. Get in worship tonight. And this is so important. Listen, um, we, we want to bring everybody, well, before we bring everybody back on the screen, we're going to show a little video asking you to give an offering tonight. Listen, this is the end of the year, and um, this one here in a second. Um, this is the end of the year, and we didn't have church Sunday, but we do have to finish strong. And many of the charities have, have texted me this, this morning and yesterday saying, hey, you need to find a place to give, you know, your last, your end of the year, get your tax and stuff in order, whatever you got to do, make a generous donation to Kingdom Christian Cultural Center tonight. Listen, there's great things happening in Yonkers, and we want to be a part of it. Your gifts and your love offerings, your tithes and your, and your faithful love and covenant with us helps keep the ministry going forward. People are being baptized. Lives are being changed. Yes. Our broadcasts are you. all over the world right now, and it's because of your generosity. Yes. You help this to happen. And so we want you to, um, you see the instructions that we're going to put up in a second and you can, um, you can give via Cash App or Zelle. This is an offertory appeal. So you can do that, but we're going to hit the video and come back in a minute. We want to thank you for joining us on our broadcast today, and we appreciate your partnership with us. If you'd like to sow a seed of love and covenant with the Kingdom Christian Cultural Center, you can do that by text to give at 28950. Just text the word KCCC and the amount, and your seed will be sown into the, into the gospel, into the work we're doing here in Yonkers. We are so blessed that you have chosen us to do this work with because there are many churches you can do but we believe that God has assigned us to you and you to us and listen it is a privilege and a pleasure to do the work of God in Yonkers if you'd like to sow via cash app you can do that at KCCC Yonkers on cash app to send your tithes and your offerings we are spreading the gospel the kingdom and we are keeping things the way Jesus wanted them we want to give the purity of the word of God that people's lives may be changed and transformed. If you'd like to sow a seed into the life of the man of God, you can do that via Cash App also, dollar sign, James Hassel or Hasselmen at Gmail uh, for Zell. We have uh, many projects and missions we're doing around the world and your gifts and support help us to do that. Thank you so much for your confidence in us. Pray for 10701 as we try to do what God has called us to do in Yonkers and beyond. And your partnership helps us to do that. We've got big visions. We've got big things we got planned to do for God. But we can only do that with your help. We're a diverse culture um, in our church. We have a diversity of people and ages and, and ethnicities that worship together. And this is the way God wants it. But we need your help. Thank you so much for joining us this morning and for your seeds of love. And from Lady Hassel and myself, we want to tell you how much we love you and we appreciate you and that you would have a blessed day. like a midget in this angle like i feel like mad low anyhow <laughs> it was on, that it was on wall. oh on the wall there oh i'm filled so short on this one anyhow everybody's back you're, you're. listen you guys are powerful how does it feel to be in this season this season of ministry and you know with with this whole new approach to church and online did did you ever imagine this and we're not afraid of social media all of us are on there 
every day. But did you ever think that this was what we'd be doing? Um, I mean, it's definitely a challenge for, for those of us who've been doing this for a while. You know, um, online ministry is definitely different, of course, than in-person ministry. Um, to find new ways for marketing and approaches and, you know, uh, finding ways to minister that are new and innovative. Um, <clears throat> rather than just the mundane, you know, and not that not that church is mundane for us because we we have an exciting time every time we get to the building. It's you know, experience. It is yeah. experience. Yeah. yeah, yeah. I I think that it's different. Um, I saw us doing it, but I didn't see it as being the dominant ministry. I didn't think that it would dominate in person. And right now, yeah. virtual is is fulfilling in person service. Um, so, uh, but I think that it's an exciting time because what I don't think that we understood with the scriptures when Jesus told us that we would, you know, go out, go ye therefore, um, that we would able be able to do it from our living rooms. You know, that we, we wouldn't necessarily have to be like Paul and the rest of the disciples on a boat or, you know, traveling to another country, but that we would be able to do it right from our living rooms and still reach the masses. Speed so I think yeah. it's an Speed exciting time. It is. It is exciting. And and to see also, I mean, this is from our perspective, because Lonnie, you're on every day. I'm on every day and, um, you know, doing doing this. But it's really we get to connect. I mean, social media could be a cesspool. It, you know, and so to have something refreshing on here, even tonight, you know, to encourage people, you know, no comparison, no, you know, nobody fl flossing and, and you know, uh, stunting. Yo, know, we're just here worshiping God and trying to encourage one another, speak blessings into your life. Yes. Nobody is, is, is uh, what do you call it, um, bullying you or, or subbing tonight. Yo, know, it's just, it's mad chill, you know, do, do you, yo. That's Which I'm I'm share the love. Is, I'm I, share just, the love. I just remembered Caridad Ramos is in the, at the hospital with her mom. Mm -hmm. And she was like, we're, she's so excited because she can sit with her mom and go to church. Amen. So we want to shout, uh, Caridad. Hi, Caridad. Hi, Caridad. Hi, Caridad. Hi, Caridad. Hi, Caridad. Hi, Caridad. Yes, we yes, always yes, love yes. mom. And, That's and right. Thank Pray God that we can, you know, people at work listening to the yes. word and listen, we love you. And if you can't come to church, <laughs> it's fine. Come on here, get the word, That's get right. discipled, yeah. get strengthened, get encouraged. That's why we're here. This is why we're here tonight because we wish we could be in each other's presence. I, and matter of fact, I almost took my phone down to, 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 to um, Times Square and was going to just go live and preach in Times Square so that y'all can hear all the noise and stuff, but the germs kept me at home. <laughs> it's dirty. Amen. It's a little dirty down there. Dirty, <laughs> mad, dirty. No, thank mad, you. Dirty. mad dirty. But no, I, thank I, you. Like, I like the fact that, um, you know, we were able to be innovative and adjust mm -hmm. yeah. earlier, you know, last year, this year, whatever. But the fact that we're still flexible enough where we're not mm -hmm. so stiff-necked to where we're not agile or ply, we, we, we're not pliable as a ministry where we can't um, say, you know what, this week is not good because the world is not good. So we still have options for us to be able to have full worship. And I think that's that's really says something about how we're trusting God and how mm -hmm. we're not um, just being so, um, stiff necked and you know Stubborn. narrow and yeah, so we know if we don't vision. bend we'll break exactly exactly, exactly. True. True. sheldon you want to say I'm just something thankful. i'm just thankful for the, just thankful for the fact, fact, that fact that i have the understanding to use technique, to use technique. um, um mm -hmm. i've seen outside of outside ministry, ministry you know when the schools, schools went to, went to distance, distance learning, learning a lot of older, older teachers, teachers they really struggled with using technology to teach. Um, so uh, I think we're very less than fortunate at the kingdom because we have people who have been using technology, uh, their personal lives, for work, and for ministry. Um, so we were able to basically walk past them. We all know that uh, Bishop Desi secretly works for Google, IBM, and Apple. So, uh, yeah, funny. He's, he's the tech master, and we, we just go off of him. But thankfully, we have the understanding of ministry this way. 
Absolutely. No, I, yeah. I think that, that this was what God designed for us to be doing in the season for the church and not as a replacement for in person. I think this is one of the things that we're looking right. for in 2022 right. is to find how to harness the power of technology mm -hmm. to spread the gospel, but also to keep valuing the power of personal touch and making sure that we're still connecting with one another in the church. I want to yeah. exhort you to not forget to yeah. assemble together. Yeah. Even so if it's in your own home with people with masks on, I don't care. You need to be praying with it's people important. in yeah. person. The Bible says where two or three are gathered together in my name, I will, I will make a visitation. I will tabernacle i'll be there in the midst of it that you become the walls of his tent and he dwells there where that's what he said he says he inhabits, inhabits the praises of his people but the, the i mean of israel and so we want to say his people because we want to take that promise but we don't have to we don't have to steal their promise he says i changed the level of a quorum from 12 males to just two or three gathered together in my name and when you do that god God, and you're expecting him to show up. You're not there okay. sipping on him or see, but you are praying. Yes. Listen, there's yes. times you need to come together and pray and Absolutely. read the scriptures. And and this is what we're trying to encourage you. Share your faith and, yes. and be Christians away from the church building. Be yeah. like, not just by yeah. assumption, I'm a Christian, but on purpose, do the things we would do in the sanctuary. Pray, yeah. praise, read the scripture, love, love, <laughs> exhort, exhort with the word. Listen, yeah, right. exhort yes. with the word, lay hands on one another in prayer, anoint your children with oil, so teach good. your children so the faith. So this is what we're going to be doing in the, in the year fullness, That's that, right. that the fullness of the kingdom will be manifest even in our homes. Because how yes. can we have a year of fullness if we relegate only our relationship with God in a sing, in a building? How right. is that? Oh, that is so good. How, so good. We stifle. It's like I have this full bottle and I'm just going to pour out a little sip for the week and that's it. And that, that and doesn't make sense. And God and doesn't want to be regulate, regulated to that. Like we right. see in, in the scriptures, he moved. He didn't, he moved outside. You know, yes. he went into people's houses and spoke the word from the street and it went into people's houses. Right. Like we have to, yeah, I want the total. Total package. I need you all to type. This is my year of fullness. I want I want to see us declare this over our own life. This is my year of fullness. I will see the kingdom of it's God in its fullness, the righteousness, the peace, the joy in the Holy Ghost, mm -hmm. all of that in his fullness. I want to see the manifestation of his power and his kingdom in Jesus' name. Amen. I want to see miracles in my home. I want to see testimonies of undeniable um encounters with the presence of God even when we can't get in the church building people yeah. are gonna say your God is the most high because they saw him demonstrated um pastor Brian talked about the manifestation of God's glory his glory in in ours I got excited clapping oh sorry I didn't mean to clap <laughs> It's different when there's more than one person in a room. <laughs> I'm telling you, Amazing. listen, the manifestation of God's glory. God's glory is his manifest presence. We've been talking about this all year, that His His God is omnipresent. He is everywhere at all times. But his manifest presence is when he shows up in a particular way so that Amen. you can feel and experience him in a tangible way. I want to on, celebrate Tanya Sister Tanya Needham. Yes. Hi, Tanya. Yeah, this is her year. Yes, fullness. It has already yes, begun, yes, and we yes, bless yes, God yes, that it's going to go Jesus, beyond her physical yes. healing. It's going to move into her family, yes. and it's going to spread like a beautiful fern. My God, yes, may it be yes. like an aspen tree. Yes. 
Mm. Yes. Yes. The largest yes. organism on organism. the planet, the organism planet. on the planet, right. that it is a clone of its own beauty and it spreads and spreads and spreads. And it, it looks like a forest, but it's one tree. May the one seed that God has planted yeah. in your life bring God, a fullness God. in that looks like a forest, but it's one blessing. This is yeah. what the Bible says. He says, yeah. giving a shepherd, he says, window. He, didn't he say that? And he says, I'll open up the windows of heaven. The pour windows of heaven and pour you out a blessing that you would not have room enough to receive. May this be your aspen season. Yeah. Your fullness. Your aspen season. Watch your head, Bishop. Watch your head. Dizzy. <laughs> Oh, yeah. Do not knock yourself out for 2022. <laughs> right, uh, right. What, what'd you say? Don't knock yourself out for 2022. Right. No, speaking of 22s, Sheldon. Yeah. yeah. Put, oh. his, put his head in the middle of the screen, please. I just oh, need to. I'm going to sit here and look at what was? Tell me what this was. What's the representation of this monstrosity? What monstrosity are you referring to, Bishop Desi? Drag him to the front. <laughs> I don't know how we can get. There you go. There he goes. Oh, sorry, y'all. <laughs> See, there it is. Just show us what, what you and your family have done to your haircut. This is not my family. Don't blame that on, on my sister yeah, exactly. and kids. Lori has just been rolling her eyes. Because <laughs> I'm rolling mine right now. <laughs> but my kids are also usually, uh, you know, they're my partner in crime, but they've been telling me I did the most today. So, you, know. you did the most. You are doing the most with that decoration right there. I just want to say it looks like a new Nike shoe. It 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 looks like we sang it before you came on. We went online. Like Potholes in my lawn. What you say? Potholes yeah. in my lawn. It's giving creativity. Taught, like I, was taught, I was taught to stand out and never fit in. Period. Me too, Sheldon. I see stand you stand out and never sir, fit in. Sir, you are standing out. Stand out. You're, uh, you're standing boom, boom, strong boom, and tall, brother. You got a five head with that one. <laughs> Star and Wars. I'm, I'm, I'm going to open up a barbershop, barbershop for those uh, sons uh, who don't do well in school. You want to give them a haircut? Mm. And hear Yo. Period. You know what? Look at Kanye. Kanye, 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 Kanye on us with that one right there. <laughs> 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 Jesus is king. <laughs> Sunday service on a Sunday service. I love you, Sheldon. Sheldon, you're always doing something to let me know that you don't care. <laughs> you are who you are. And That's I right. think that the Lord needs you more of those in the kingdom. Be that's not. it. I love it. Nonconformist. Listen, the that's Bible right. said it. That's the that's a Romans twelve that's haircut right, right there. R12. Get your R12. Be transformed by the renewing of your mind. I'm your haircut. Uh -huh. I'm going to use my universe to put the R12 in the back. There you go. R12. That's an R12. 2022. Ella. Ella said she can fix those. those. <laughs> <laughs> Yo, I wish Ella was on tonight. Yeah, oh, oh my man. gosh. <laughs> Yo, my eyes are leaking right oh, now. Man. Yo, hilarious. Mother Couch said this is her year yes, of fullness. Did. Let me oh, tell you. Mother. And she said it in Jesus' name. There yes. is no way to Speaking steal it and no, take no, speak it in Jesus' name. Matter of fact, I, I need 30 know. of you to type in Jesus', in Jesus name. name. Let me in tell Jesus you something. Name. Whatever, whatsoever Ever you ask when you pray, believing yes. it shall be done unto you. I learned that as a scripture from from uh, Daryl Coley, right? What who is it? What things so ever you ask when you pray, believe it, right? Okay, Brian. Brian knows it, then it's a real song. Okay, it's a real I song. Was I was waiting. That's it. That's it. In Jesus' name. In Jesus' name. Let me tell you, in the name of Jesus, there yeah. are things that can happen in your life. Yeah. Listen, it is it is declared by the authority. I love that map it because that is why we pray in Jesus' name. It's not just punctuation to a prayer. Yeah. It is you saying, I'm asking this as if Jesus asked for it. Mm -hmm. And God will not deny Jesus, even though he would deny us. But if we ask it in Jesus' name, he gives it for Jesus' sake. Yeah, that's my good. Lord. Yes. Yes. Lord. And when I say in Jesus' name, it means my name carries no weight, but his carries all of it. Wow. That's it. 
Don't be ashamed when you end your prayer. We were talking about, you know, you asked me to pray at the, the inauguration or whatever. Listen, if you don't want me to pray in Jesus' name, don't ask me to pray because there ain't no power in that <laughs> prayer. I got no <laughs> reputation that can move God but the name of Jesus. The name. Uh, or at the name of Jesus. Talk, at, at the name, name of Jesus, talk, talk, every talk, knee shall every bow yeah. and Watch every that tongue that. confess that Jesus is Lord, he is Lord. to the glory yeah, of the Father. Father. Let me tell you something. You need the name of Jesus. You need it. You need it. There's something about the we name need of Jesus. We need it. Uh, sure, I got the keyboard right here. I just can't reach it around my wife. But this is what we're talking about today. Is is anybody in oh look at that? That's so sweet. That's so sweet. Happy New Year. My nephew says Happy New Year, y'all. Happy New Year, nephew. That's right. We saw we saw mustaches and beards. We was like <laughs> Papa, who that man? We talking about fullness. Listen, it would have been possible. Lord, Lord, oh yeah. That's right. This is my season. Listen, we're, we're speaking, we're speaking and declaring these things over your life because we want you to be blessed and to be and to be in good health and to prosper even as your soul prospers. And let me tell you something: we should make commitments in 2022 to feed our souls on a regular basis. And this is why many of us are being who are being called to ministry in this time and season should be utilizing our social media platforms to give the word of God on a regular basis basis. And I'm not even just talking about those who call to the pulpit. Listen, the pulpit is only it's only one stage at a time, but we could all be doing something 24 hours a day. I wish I could make a channel of your content and just put 24 hours of word and prayer and encouragement of those around me who are willing to create content on a daily basis, on a regular basis, so we can advance the kingdom of God in yeah. this season. Listen, lay people and not lay people. This is not the season to be at ease in Zion. Listen, the That's Bible right. says, woe to them who are at ease. This is not the season for you to get full and forget God. This is not the season to get full and forget God. One more time. This is not the season to get full and forget God. Right. This is the season to use your fullness to remind people of God. Yeah. Yes, Lord. Uh, Right. They watching you. I am not self-made. I didn't get here on my own. I heard this little parable my bishop said a couple years ago. He says, if you ever see a turtle on a fence, no, he didn't get there on his own. That's right. Somebody put him there, Missy. That's what I'm talking about. Shout out to Bishop Bottoms. Bishop Bottoms. Bishop. He's here. Love Anybody like it? Is he in the comments? No, I wish. No. You know, he in church no, right now. Hey, hey. He in church. He's doing what he do. Well, I was going to say, he got his own platform going right now. That's right. Yo, Yo, he's behind the scenes. Yo. I'm, Kyra is home. That's all I got to say, y'all. Kyra <laughs> is home. Yes, listen. Don't, the Bible says, when thou art eaten and art full, don't forget God. Right. Don't forget God. Put him at the forefront of your life at the forefront of your forefront excuse me forefront of your mind and your life and let your children and your children children know that they need God listen I, I was talking with Deacon Antoine today and we were talking about where the children in church and all of our churches need to be mindful that if the children are not there your church is dying mm -hmm. my lord yeah yeah. No life. No yeah, mm -hmm. our children must know God. Stop you. letting them sleep through church. That's it. That's it. Wake them up. I'm praying that God will give us, send us ro roadblock. What is it? Ro roadblocks. Roadblocks <laughs> developers to help us yeah. create games to disciple our children. Mm. Mm. That's good. That's good. That That's is good. good. Y'all hearing what I'm saying? Interactive games that get them out of their houses into fellowships where they can enjoy learning about God because it's a sin to bore a child with the gospel. Mm. 
That's a big thought. That's a big thought. I was, mm-hmm. I'm was. i saying I want to help with it. I'm not a game developer, but I'll try. Our kids yes. need Jesus. <laughs> Our teenagers need Jesus. Yes, Our 20-year-olds need Jesus. Our 30-year-olds need Jesus. Anybody we meet, you look at them with love mm-hmm. and go, you know what? God loves you. My God, he loves you so much. You uh, just got Vicky's uh, attention. Vicky, Tell Vicky, 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 help me make a roadblock on, Vicky. or how to do Romans Road. That's Lord, what I'm talking about. Vicky, anoint that. That's, That's my girl. Do it, do it. I told they you have I got some. I got some. classes online for kids. The next time I see it, I'm going to snapshot it and post I'm it. I'm going to act like I'm a kid and take the coding class. <laughs> Straight up. Because they want to charge me because I'm a grown yeah. black man. Just grown. Just grown. Listen, we've got to we've got to be thinking about that. Can we pause for the next few moments and begin to pray for our children? Pastor Brian, start and just pray. Go. Father, bless you and I thank you, Lord, for the opportunity, Lord, to speak to you and to hear from you. God, we lift our children to you right now, oh God, in Jesus' mighty name. Father, we're praying for an anointing to be upon them, oh God, that they would do greater and mightier things in this season, oh Father. We're asking that you would anoint their minds, oh God anoint their hearts and their spirits, O oh God, that they would receive from you, O oh God, every teenager, every young adult, O oh God, every every young child, O oh God. I have a one-year-old, O oh God, and a 13-year-old. Touch their minds and their hearts, O oh God, that they would do great exploits in the kingdom. O oh God, touch my brother's children, O oh God. Touch Lonnie's children, O oh God. Touch Kyra, O oh God, and every, every, every child that's connected to all of us. Father, we're asking you that you would look in upon them now, O oh God, whether they're asleep, awake, whatever. Father, we're asking you to Touch their minds, touch their hearts, that they would do something new, something great for your kingdom, oh God. Father, let your glory be made manifest in them, oh God, that they would see uh, uh, the, the brightness of your light, oh God, and, and work to bring you glory, oh God, hallelujah, in whatever it is that they put their hands to do. Father, <clears throat> we pray in Jesus' name that you would order their steps, oh God, that you would order their minds, that you would order their hearts, oh God, that you would order their tongues, oh God, not by might nor by power, but by your spirit, oh God. Cover them in your blood, oh God. Hallelujah. That any anything and everything that the enemy seeks to do in them, oh God. Father, we plead the blood against it right now. We cancel the assignment, Father, hallelujah, against our children. We cancel uh, by the power of the Lord Jesus Christ, by the influence and by the authority of the Holy Ghost. We we usurp authority, oh God, that the enemy has tried to take uh, with and, f- uh, uh, and concerning our children. Father, we're asking you right now, God, that you would move his hand out of the way, oh God, and let your glory be shown. Let your voice be heard. Let your hand, oh God, be upon them all the days of their lives. Lord, I'm praying like Jabez that you would bless them indeed. Hallelujah. That you would keep your hands upon them, oh God, and that they would be free from pain. Hallelujah. Oh God, make them more honorable. Hallelujah. Make them greater. Hallelujah. Increase their capacity for you. Increase their capacity for for, for wisdom and knowledge from the Holy Spirit. Oh God, we're asking you in Jesus' name that you would do this, oh God, and that you would get the glory from them, oh God, that you would receive all of the honor and all of the praise, hallelujah, as they work to please you. Not to please us, not to please other men and women, but God, as they seek to please you, Father, give them the anointing to put their hands to the plow and not look back. Hallelujah. Make them fit for the kingdom of God. Make them fit to be used of God. Hallelujah. Do in them Hallelujah, what they cannot do for themselves. Do for them, oh God, what we cannot do for them. Oh Father, we're asking you right now that you would accomplish your good pleasure in them. In the name of Jesus, I thank you and I praise you and I give you glory in Jesus' mighty name. Amen and amen. Amen, amen. Thank you, Pastor B, for praying for the kids. I was looking at the screen like this. (laughs) (laughs) 
how powerful. Cover our kids. Cover yes, them. Lord. Listen, our children need our prayers. Yes. They need our wisdom. They need mm-hmm. us to take time and tell them the right way. Do not allow them to be convinced by the world that Jesus is not needed. They need Jesus like we do. Amen. Let's tell them in love. God loves them. That's mm-hmm. it. Not to judge them. Listen, if you're trying to tell them to be perfect, who's going to tell them that? Who's who's going to throw that stone? I can't. Who's, who's without <laughs> sin? Throw the first stone. Which one of us? Not me. Not me. <laughs> no, I mean, so anyhow, listen, I want to, we got, we got, it's 1125 and we're getting close to the countdown. I'm so excited about this. And I want to take us into the sanctuary uh, for a minute. And then we're going to come back and share this word with you um, just to, um, to wet your whistle and get us ready for it. But um, God is in our midst. Let's go into the sanctuary.
awesome. Say it again, our God. From heaven. Our God is an awesome God. He reigns from heaven above with wind. My God is an awesome God, and from heaven above, he reigns. Let me tell you something. I was thinking, my wife moved out of the picture because I'm about to preach. I, I thought she could stay and help me preach it. But um, one of the things is, is that this is 2022. How did we get to the 2022? It is A.D., the Anno Domini. It is the year of our Lord, 2022. 2022 years ago, the Christmas story unfolded and split history in half, and our God is still on the throne. He he is not just the God of 2018 and 2019. He is the God of 2020, 2021, 2022. He has not abdicated his authority and his power. God is still enthroned. He is still sovereign. He is still in control. He is, are y'all hearing what I'm saying? God is still able to do exceeding abundantly above all you can ask or think according to the power that worketh in you. Can I tell you right now, you need to keep God high and lifted up in your mind so that he's able to operate over everything you put under him my God, my God, he is able to do that in your life. Keep him lifted up. If I be lifted up, he says, I'll draw yes. all men unto me. Oh. There is conditions to the fact that when we lift him, he draws. My God, I am so excited to share this word. Let me let me get my little notes out here. When I think I preached last week on um from John chapter one. And so we're there again. We're there in John chapter one again. Kyra's centering me right now so, so that I don't look crooked on the thing. Um, we're talking about fullness. <laughs> we're talking about fullness tonight for this last half hour. It's 1131 and I promise you we're going to pray and then the countdown will be at 1159 and we're going to do it together. All of our ministers and pastors that are online are here. If any of you that are watching who have the code, you can come meet us in here. Up to 10, the first 10, get to say Happy New Year to everyone at, a, at 12 o'clock. But we're looking at John chapter 1, verse 14 through 16. This is what we're talking about tonight, talking about fullness. And the Word, John 1, 14, you know it. And the Word was made flesh and dwelt among us, and we beheld his glory as of the only begotten of the Father, full, this is what it says, he was the only begotten of the Father, full of grace and truth. And John bare witness of him and cried, this was he of whom I speak. He that cometh after me is preferred before me, for he was before me. John chapter one, verse 14 through 16, then it says, and of his fullness, this is where I'm going from, of his fullness have all we received and grace for grace. Listen to what John said about Jesus. He says he came, he was preferred before me, and we received from his fullness, meaning he was the cup and we are the saucer, that as he overflowed with the grace and more grace, we were the recipients of that fullness, and we, if we stay planted under his flow, we will then be full as he is full and overflowing. Are y'all hearing what I'm saying? Of his fullness have we all received. He's the cup, we're the saucer. If you stay placed under Christ, his overflowing state will become your overflowing state. And the grace that is in him for you will begin to flow out of you for others. I believe that when the church is out of order and we are no longer under the flow of Jesus Christ, what happens is that it's evident in the fact that we don't have grace for one another. Oh, I'm, I came out swinging. I came out swinging. We need to stay under his cup. He says, you, this is what David says. Oh, the music is still playing? Okay, there we go. We muted it there. That's better. All right, good. All right, good. Brian, Brian heard it. All right, so listen, this... Oh, good. This is the 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 um the insight of John the Baptist as he talked about Jesus. He says we received of the 
fullness of Christ. And we, as we received it, we see, received it grace for grace. That we, as we acknowledge his fullness into a Hebrew mind, it was not full until it was overflowing. David said it this way, you anoint my head with oil and then my cup runneth over. As the king, he testified that God was pouring into him more than he could receive and the blessing came upon those who were under him. Can I say this also, is that the the flow of your life affects those who are under My you. Lord. If you My are God. not in a good flow, I like Shoot. having amens in the room. Listen, if you are not in a good flow, My whatever Lord. is filling you will fill those under you. Make sure you stay under the flow of oh Christ My and Lord. his love good and God. his grace. This is what I'm talking about. May his grace be with you in 2022. Let me say it one more time. May the grace of God be with you in 2022. May you not take the road of legalism where you don't need his grace anymore. May you, the humility of your walk with God say that I need his grace. But let me warn you. Paul said it this way, shall we continue in sin that grace may abound? God forbid, I am not taking his grace for liberty for me to live in lasciviousness and, and, and all of those other things that I could be full of. And man, we're going to unpack this because you can be full of things that are not good for you, full, mm. full of envy, full of jealousy, full of, of lasciviousness, my full God. of all, of mm. all kinds of naughtiness. My God, mm. may you be full of goodness, goodness in this year and, and my God and may the grace of God cover you when you are not enough and that means it always covers me is this mm -hmm. good may the grace of God be with you Ella in 2022 <coughs> may the grace of God listen this is he says the fullness of his fullness have we received this is what I want to talk about fullness fullness is the state Fullness is the state of being replete or satisfied or filled. Filled. I know that you can't define a word with the word, but filled to be replete, to be satisfied, to be content. Fullness. I'm full. Many of us eat past being full. <laughs> My God. Yeah, we, we don't stop when we should stop. We, when you pump the gas beyond fullness, it begins to overflow. That fullness in our understanding means to be replete or to satisfy, to be satisfied. And so the promise, the instruction, the, the implication of this as a theme for next year is that God wants you to be filled, oh, replete, and satisfied. Oh. That that. As opposed to being discontent, Jesus. empty, scarce, lacking, and unfulfilled. May your business be full. May your ministry be full. May your marriage and your family be full. May your home be filled. May your career be filled. I, I, my God, Catalina, uh, who just brought, we, we did a mission uh, uh, with her. I believe we were in uh, Quevedo in Ecuador. Her husband was in a car accident eight days ago, a very bad accident, Jesus. and he was in in uh, in intensive care for eight days. Wouldn't wake up. We prayed this morning, and the Lord got him out of Thank that you, place, Lord. and he is Hallelujah. being recovered. And we're declaring full recovery Fullness. and full advancement of his purpose in his life. Yes. We declare it. Hello, Catalina. Thank you for joining us all the way from Ecuador. Replenish. We're praying for My you, God. and that God would make you and your family full in 2022. May we not have the testimony of Naomi who says I left full and returned empty because fullness is a matter of perspective. Amen. Fullness can be four different things. Let me get to it. And it's 1138. We're almost there. We're almost there. Here it is. Fullness can be number one, a pipe dream. Some could be hearing me preach, and I know now that we're not laughing, the numbers go down a little bit, but those people who are leaving are missing the word of God, the full declaration. I'm not, I'm not concerned about it, but I want you to stay locked in because fullness is not a pipe dream. People think that it's so far from reality for them that they could never be 
full. They could never be content. They could never be happy where they are. The devil is a liar. God can bring fullness to you where you are right now. I need someone to know that fullness is not a pipe dream. It's not some hope that would not be fulfilled. It is not some discontentment that could never be turned around. It is not some appetite that can never be filled. Listen, fire is never satisfied. The eyes are never satisfied. Hell and the grave are never satisfied. But you, my brother, my sister, can satisfied be satisfied in Jesus. In Jesus. He is more than enough. Yes. My God, they, they hyping me up in this room right now. They hyping me up. They hyping me up. Jeez. Number two, number two at <laughs> level two. And there's really no rush. A pipe dream means that it's so far from reality, so far from our experience, that it's not something that we could even imagine ourselves having. Listen, you could have been so broken and so poor and so destitute your whole life for generation after generation after generation. You've never seen satisfaction in relationships, never seen satisfaction in your work, never seen satisfaction uh, even on your grades. You've never My seen God. an S or an E or, a, or an A, but in 2022, you yeah. will manifest yeah, beyond your wildest dreams. God is able is. to do exceeding abundantly uh, above. Uh, I love Paul's languages. Let me tell you something. Yo, they really hyping me up for this. I'm no, really no, 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 they really feel it. Exceeding <laughs> abundantly above all. All oh. that you can ask or think. Yes. Listen, begin to ask or think and watch God exceed, exceed it. He's going beyond, he's going beyond what you could imagine. Yes. Stop imagining low, imagine high, and he's going to go beyond that, Leisha. This is he what I'm telling you. Let, listen, possible. this is what God is doing, <laughs> exceeding abundantly above. It's not just above, it's not just abundantly above. God is about to go overboard with Don't your fullness. Yes. And that means he's pouring out more than you have room enough to receive. He, um, uh, Sheldon said it already. He says, good measure Press down, shake it, shake it, shake it together, together, and run it over. If you don't hear this scripture a hundred times this year and don't begin to believe it for your life and yeah. see it manifest, I'm not just talking about a pipe dream. Listen, fullness is not is not a pipe dream, but it also for some people is a problem. At 1142, fullness listen, fullness can be a problem for some of us. Let me tell you why. Because many of us don't have the capacity for fullness. We're full of other things. My. And therefore, if he flows anything else into our lives, what begins to flow out of us is not the abundance we're looking for. We have Jesus. an abundance of hate. We have an abundance of bitterness. We have an abundance of craziness in our life, abundance of fire from all kind of past things in our lives. And the Lord needs to cleanse us from that and to, and to deliver us from those things which are causing us to not be able to receive more from God. Mm -hmm. A problem for some of us is because our character can hold us in position where we can receive more from God. We've got, we're holding on to things that are causing a blockage in our lives. And the Lord is saying, the fullness I want to give you is only going to follow you emptying yourself of anything that would cause the blockage. Are you hearing what I'm saying? I think someone really needs to hear this word tonight and come to the conclusion that there's some things that I've allowed to clog my life up that I'm letting it go. I'm letting go of fear. That's un Listen, I'm letting go of fear. I'm letting go of low self-esteem. I'm letting go of the things that they said to me when I was 10 and 9. I'm letting go of who broke up with me when I was 14 and left me stuck. I'm uh, listen, listen, I'm letting go of the bitterness and the hatred that happened from, from bad relationships, bad interactions. Somebody rejected me. Somebody fired me. Somebody did this. Some teacher spoke against me. The devil is a liar. I am going to experience fullness in my career. I'm going to experience satisfaction with my work. I'm going to experience satisfaction in my marriage. I'm going to experience satisfaction in my writing. I'm going to experience 
satisfaction in my ministry. I'm going to see fullness in my church. I'm going to see fullness in my wallet. Yes, I'm going to see fullness yes. in my cupboard. I'm going to see fullness in my fullness. joy. My God, I'm going to see fullness in my spiritual walk, my, in my, my prayer God. life, yes. my prayer life. My, my God, somebody say, yes. I will see Fullness. I will see fullness. I'll see fullness. I will at eleven forty four. I will see fullness. I am. I am in awe that this year is almost full and tipping over. Twenty twenty one is almost full and tipping over into twenty twenty two. And I am watching with a prophetic eye right now for what God is about to do. Anybody believe that it holds? If my God, I never could have imagined the things that happened this year. 2021 and I'm full of joy and gratitude. I am grateful. I am joyful, my God, right now. Mm -hmm. And because of what God has already poured out in my life and I am full of hope. I'm full of faith. I'm faithful. Full so that I can see. I'm hopeful so that I can see. Y'all hear these words? Y'all understand? Mm-hmm. See, come on. I dare you to write a word with full in it before as we're more. Come on. I'm I hear thankful. thankful. I'm thankful. I'm come on, faithful. I am. I am the Lord. Say something about you or God. Something full. I love it. Listen, it is it is um a problem for some. Fullness is a pipe dream for some, and for others, it's only a faint possibility. Fullness is for some only a faint possibility because they're overcome by doubt and fear. Mm. Listen, delay will cause you to doubt your, your resolve. And let me tell you something. Don't let time erode your resolution. Don't allow a delay to trick you into believing you've been denied. Let the faith you had at the beginning last all the way to the end. Bishop used to always say this to us. He says, faith that fizzles before the finish was fickle from the first. That's so good. Let me say it one more time. I see it fruitful. I see successful. I see hopeful, thankful, grateful. Come on. Let me say it one more time. It's a faint possibility for those who are full of doubt and fear. And we must make sure that we persevere in our faith because faith that fizzles before the finish was fickle from the first. Are you hearing what I'm saying? Hold on to your faith that my fullness is not a faint possibility. It is a certainty for faith. Hebrews 11, one says, is the substance of things hoped for, the evidence of things not seen for by it. The elders obtained a good report. And so he says, be ye not slothful. Hebrews, it says in six, Hebrews 6, 8, it says, be not slothful. He says, but be ye followers of those who through faith and patience they obtain the promises are you hearing what i'm saying it is not a faint possibility but number four my fullness is a promise it's a promise for those who demonstrate through their faith and patience that they will pursue i love this phrase right here this is what i want you to see because as you speak the word of god over your life the word of god not your own words not your own thoughts not your own desires but the words of god over your life in 2021 they will manifest in 2022 this is what i'm saying the word will become flesh will become flesh in your life the incarnation of these words is inevitable in 2022. You will pursue the incarnation of the word of God and then receive its fullness. This is what John is talking about, that Jesus didn't just show up. He was a word. He was the word of God first. He was a promise of God. He was and he was an evangelistic release of God in Genesis chapter three and through 40 and two flaming generations. The word of God pressed through every demonic trap that tried to block the incarnation of God's word, but it could not stop it. God's word found a way to break out and make it happen for us. His word is relentless. 
relentless for by his word the worlds were framed my mm. god the promises of god cannot be stopped they cannot be thwarted the word of god shall accomplish that for which he has sent it it will not return to him void it is established word upon word precept upon precept oh come on y'all hearing what i'm saying you must believe the promises of god when you don't believe your neighbor when you don't believe the doctor believe, believe the word of god way. my god they, listen believe believe, believe the word of god believe it for it is a promise for those who demonstrate through faith and patience that they will pursue the incarnated word of God and receive his fullness. And it begins with grace for grace. Be graceful. What a great word for 2022 that God will be graceful, gracious. I love this. We told the ministers to look up words that had I-O-U-S at the end because that was an outflow of abundance. Gracious and, and wondrous. These are an exuding. There's an action in that. And this graciousness of God, may it flow in your life. Gracious, grace, 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 grace. Oh my God, I got a few more minutes and we're going to pray for these last few minutes. And I want, I want to pray uh, fervently and pastor is kind of come and join me also. But what I want to talk about is grace. Listen, you can use grace for two things. You can use grace to forgive your sin or grace excuse me, grace to cover your sin or grace to empower you to do righteousness. May you not waste your grace on foolishness. May you spend your grace on Jesus. righteousness. May you spend your grace in 2022, not on covering your falls, but use your grace to minister to others in righteousness. Are y'all hearing what I'm saying? You hearing what I'm saying? I'm gonna ask right now. Um, um, Pastor Alanda's gonna come and 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 gonna pray, and then I'm gonna pray, and then we're gonna do our countdown. <laughs> Amen. Let's pray. Our most wise God, we thank you so much for this word. Thank you, oh God, that you sent your Son to become flesh and be our living word for us. Thank you, oh God, that we are going into this new year, Lord, ready to live in the fullness that you've given us. Thank you for a year of fullness. We thank you in advance for what you're about to do. And God, we don't go in with as beggars with our hands out, but we go in ready, oh God, to do the work, to, to, to work the strategies that you've given us so that the word of prophecy will come alive and come uh, to be manifested in our lives. We thank you, oh God, for all that you've done. God, we don't sit even at the end of this year sad about things that have happened, but we recognize that you are in control and we believe you, God. We trust you. And God, we know that you're working things out for our good. We thank you, oh Lord, for all of uh, the love that you've shown us. And we pray, God, that as we cross over into this new year, into 20. 22 that it will be like nothing we've ever seen but god that our faith would be full that our our mercy towards one another would be full that our love and grace towards one another will be full god give us a reasonable portion that we could dish out and share with others lord not just to for us to get pats on the back but for us to declare and decree that you are lord and beside you there is no other we thank you, oh God, for the wisdom you're going to give us and for the love and the joy and the peace that you were going to bathe us in and our families in. We thank you for a year of prosperity, not just in money, but in health. A year, oh God, with sound minds. We thank you, oh God, for all that you're doing and all that you will continue to do. God, we love you. God, we bless you. God, we honor you. And we recognize tonight that you are Lord, that you are our Savior, that you are our healer and our deliverer. Thank you, God, for being who you are in our lives. We honor you so much. We thank you, O oh Lord, for the man of God who has stayed on the wall, the man of God who has done all that he can to advance the kingdom. 
and to Advanced Kingdom Christian Cultural Center. Thank you for all of the leaders. Thank you for the pastors and the deacons and the trustees and all of those, oh God, who have worked diligently to advance the kingdom. We pray, oh God, that their homes will be blessed, their minds, their bodies will be blessed, that everything that they touch will be blessed, not just because we think you are some genie in a bottle, but because we trust you and we declare that we will live lives that are faithful towards you. We honor you, oh God, we love you and we bless you. In Jesus' name, in Jesus amen. Name. In Jesus' name. Thank you, Lord. Father, Thank we, you, we recognize, you, God. oh God, and understand in ways that we never thought we would what it means, Lord, that the years that the canker worm and the palmer worm have eaten, oh God, and Thank we've you, experienced years of devouring of our joy, devouring, oh God, of our families and our friends and relationships, yes. Lord, devouring of our understanding of normalcy, Lord, and we know, Lord, that you said if we would seek your face, oh God, that you would rebuke the devourer for our sake, yes, oh God. Man. And we put you first and we look for the fullness that has come from us giving, our, giving you our best, giving you our first, oh God, and seeing your light and your life as a priority. And Lord, we speak now over our own families, oh God, the blessing that you have promised us that we receive of your fullness, O oh God, grace for grace for mm. 2022. You, Lord, Lord. as there is a double two, as there's two numbers, Lord, we say it, it don't mean nothing in the numerology, but it means grace for grace for us in 2022. Double grace, a double, double portion, grace. Lord, that we will be full with your fullness, O oh God, that what is flowing out of you, may, we, may it flow out of us. May we flow with love love. May we flow with peace and joy and hope, oh God. May we flow with success and humility and the fruit of the Spirit, Lord, that as you bless us and increase us, Lord, that we would give your name the glory, that we would not get full and forget you, oh God. I speak the blessing now. I speak the blessing with my prophetic mouth as your servant, as your son. I speak the blessing on 123 Jesus. people who are on this call. I declare it with my mouth over those who have watched us live and who will watch us later. I speak the in blessing on their life, a blessing for 2022. Yes, I Lord. speak life. I speak health. Yes, I speak wisdom. Yes. I speak revelation. Jesus My God, name. I speak openness full. to your work and to your kingdom. I speak a seriousness about Jesus. the things that you're calling us to do. I speak this over their life. I speak the blessing, the return yes, of the servant, Lord, that they would see the miracles. Lord, I, I speak the reward of the prophet that they would receive the prophet's reward yes, for the yes. seeds they sow into the kingdom. May their businesses flourish, oh God. May their marriages flourish. May their relationships be pure. May they meet the ones they're supposed to meet. May their health be strong, oh God. May their life force be reinforced, oh God. In the name of Jesus, bless their bones and their teeth, oh God, their nails. Bless their edge-ups and their hair, Lord. I'm serious, Lord. Bless everything bless them, about Lord. their life in the name of the Jesus. Name of bless Jesus. them with peace on their job, oh God. May they not see people as enemies, but they yes, would understand Lord. the enemy for who he is. He's a spiritual being, and may the enemy, the real enemy, be Jesus. rebuked in their life, that he would have no, no foothold in our lives. We, I speak the blessing, oh God, of peace in their home, joy in their heart, and soundness in their mind. Jesus. In the name of Jesus, may they be filled with your Holy Spirit. May they be filled with your Holy Spirit. May they be filled. May they only be visited by your Holy Spirit and your angels at night to do the work of God. May they be protected with the, the protection of Psalm 91 in Jesus' mighty in Jesus name. name. We're about to begin this countdown in a minute, but I want you all to begin to type in praises unto God Thank and God. bring the year in with a praise. I'm going to start this countdown. You're not going to see our faces for 
about 59 or 60 seconds, but when we come back, I want to see those comments full of praises and hit those stars, hit those likes, hit those loves. I mean, go absolutely praise nuts him. and give God a praise and some glory. He has kept... What happened? Hey! Hey! Wait, 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 Happy New Year. 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 Happy grandkids and nephews and nieces and your businesses Children, both of y'all bless the the new opportunities on your life the two of you who are on here right now i know you both got some wonderful things cooking may the lord do Literally. it bless the lord thank fullness you, thank you sir i'm receiving may, may he give you wisdom I, I speak it over <laughs> kyra right now that she will have health and the sparkles on her eyes will be sparkles on her life and Jesus name. Is he doing right. Happy New Year, right. everybody. Happy New Year. Have a good one. Love you guys. I speak, over, I speak you guys. over Pastor Touch. on her red glasses. I speak a blessing on her <laughs> and on, on her business. <laughs> love you guys. Love you. Happy New Year, guys. Love you. Love you. Love you. All right. Listen, God bless all of you. Happy, happy New Year. Happy 2022. Wow. It's 2022. Wow. January 1st, 2022. 30 years ago, my car broke down on New Year's. It did? <laughs> yeah, the church mobile, but it was a stick shift, so we were able to pop the clutch and get home. <laughs> she said, I don't want it. Don't tell about this. Listen, 30 years ago, this is our 30th year of marriage. It is. That's it. And I'm about to be 30. In a couple years. <laughs> <laughs> we love you guys. Love you, Mother Murphy. You right love, you, love you, Vet. Love you, love you, Diane. I see you guys. Happy hearts, New Year. hearts and love to all of you. I see you love still here, Coco and and Marlena and Crystal and Mama Cameron. God bless you and and Brother Linda. Bree Bree and, and Bree Bree. I'm, that's right. We're gonna say hi to everybody before you guys log Miss off and everything. Effie. Miss Effie's on here. Marcella. Love you, Marcella. Latoya, happy new year, y'all. We finna go watch the honeymooners. Yep, that's what we do. Oh, Kai said no. <laughs> Kai said no, she's gonna watch. We know, love you too, T. Watch her Apple TV. Love you, Sugar Mama. Mm -hmm. you we all watching, don't look up. Oh. <laughs> 
Look up. Don't. Look up. Jenna, love you. Get, feel better. Jenna, stop banging up people's cars. Miss Delma said, I'm watching that right now. Yeah. She watched the honeymoon long. Okay. That's right. She Don't wait. wait. Happy, New Year, Happy New Year, guys. We love you. All right, we going for real. Love, love y'all. All right. Happy New Year. Tim Bertrand. You love the honeymoon. Happy New Year. Night, night.